Good morning and aloha. Thank you to Reverend Kerry for inviting me to share with you today. I was looking forward to spending the weekend on Maui with all of you. However, I am grateful to still be able to join you virtually for your autumn Ohigan service. Our world is in chaos and it seems we are constantly trying to find our footing on the deck of a sailing ship on stormy seas. Our lives have been upended by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the political and civil unrest sweeping across our nation. These events remind us that there is an imbalance in nature and within our society that is the cause of so much suffering. In times of uncertainty, it is common for us to seek quick and easy answers to our problems. And in recent years, Many people, including certain national leaders, have turned to believing in and promoting dangerous conspiracy theories and alternative facts. Belief in these theories arise from a human need to feel more in control of an uncontrollable situation. What also arises is the dark side of our nature, which assumes the worst as we look to find blame in others. This imbalance of perspective leads to further suffering as we find ourselves spiraling down a rabbit hole of fear anxiety, and hatred. However, the Buddha offers wisdom for living through such turbulent times and how to determine which path to follow and who to believe. In a story from the Kalama Sutta, Shakyamuni Buddha visits the village of the Kalama people who share with him how numerous holy men have visited their village claiming that their teachings are the best and how others are false. They tell the Buddha of their confusion and ask for his help in deciding who to listen to and what to believe. The Buddha tells them, tells the villagers that it is only natural to feel such confusion and doubt. He then offers the following advice to them. Neither believe nor reject anything simply because you have heard it. Do not believe in traditions simply because they have been handed down for generations. Do not believe what is written in religious books. Do not believe something just because it superficially seems to be true. Do not believe something for reasons of logic or philosophy. Do not believe anything merely by authority of your teachers and elders. Even if I tell you something, do not believe it. The Buddha tells them to trust their own experience and to know for themselves 
whether a teaching leads to harm or happiness for self and others. This simple test encourages us to thoroughly examine experience and to carefully consider any teaching or advice with the compassionate heart and mind of a bodhisattva. The Buddha empowers us to tap into our own intelligence and wisdom guided by the light of the Dharma. This is why Shinran Shonin believed it was so rare to encounter a good teacher and even more difficult to discern a good teaching. He shares the following verse from the hymns of the Pure Land. It is difficult to meet true teachers and difficult for them to instruct. It is difficult to hear the teaching well and more difficult still to accept it. This is why Shinran was so grateful to receive the Nembutsu teaching from his master, Honen Shonin. And he accepted this teaching only after he thoroughly tested its veracity within his own life. This is the deep and profound faith that arose in Shinran's life through the working of the Dharma. It was only through the power of the Nembutsu that Shinran was able to meet with his true self that comes from the other shore of enlightenment. It is this profound spiritual awakening that inspires us to follow the Buddhist path and to live naturally, practicing the six bodhisattva activities of generosity, discipline, patience, energy, meditation, and insight. This is the working of the other shore that is present within each moment of our ordinary lives. This is the spirit of Ohigan that we should reflect on and strive to live every single day. In his book, Awaken to Your True Self, A Shin Buddhist Way of Life, Dr. Hideo Yonezawa sh shares the following. Moment to moment, we are living a life that is not easy to have. This is what the other shore is teaching us. The weight, the importance of each and every moment. Namo Amida Butsu teaches me the world of the true self, this self that has come from the other shore. It is a phrase that comes from the other shore. And he goes on to say, people who live only on this shore of samsara cannot understand the phrase Namo Amida Butsu. I think a person who thinks of the importance of the other shore will, for the first time, begin to understand Namo Amida Butsu. To think that this shore is the real shore or the real world is to think backwards. Namo Amida Butsu teaches us how we should really be and how backwards we actually are. 
the Buddha's teachings can help us to engage in a chaotic world with clarity and wisdom. It seems like more and more we are being inundated with conspiracy theories and fake news. This misinformation about various issues and thoughts that people disagree with. Because you disagree with something or someone doesn't make it fake news. Just like the Buddha advised the Kalama people, think critically about the media and the information that you consume. Rigorously test its veracity based on whether it leads to harm or happiness for self and others. I came across an excellent online resource for assessing credible sources from the Cornell University Library. And they offer the following practical advice for dealing with fake news. First, learn to recognize fake news sites. Be curious and actively investigate news stories. Two, use news sources that are accountable for their content and that follow journalistic ethics and standards. Use care before sharing news content with others on social media. Pause and reflect on news sources that arouse strong emotions, both positive or negative. And four, learn to recognize your own biases and compensate for them. These guidelines ask us to do what the Buddha taught for accessing information with a critical eye and self-reflecting on our thoughts, emotions, and biases. This is why we go to the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha for guidance. The truth matters, especially when making decisions that impact our lives and the lives of others. Truth matters when dealing with public health. Truth matters in our democracy. We observe Ohigan during the spring and fall equinox, when day and night are in perfect balance. In many ancient cultures, it is a time of celebration which reminds us of our deep connection to the rhythms and cycles of the earth and the entire universe. Ohigan translates as the other shore and is a metaphor for crossing over from this shore of ignorance, anger, and greed to the other shore of awakening. This is an occasion for us to reflect deeply on the nature of our true self, which is hidden beneath our ego, our attachments. It is this ego self that is seduced by the promise of simplistic answers offered by conspiracy theories and alternative facts that poison our hearts and minds. The Buddha's teaching 
is the antidote which neutralizes ignorance and helps us to discern fact from fiction, truth from lies, and what is wholesome and unwholesome in life. This is why during Ohigan, we reflect on cultivating spiritual balance through living the Buddha's teachings. Thank you again for inviting me to share with you today. Mahalo. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu.